Okay, this is MXUX. Just going over this endurance after some comments from uh, Larry Kumar in the last video. I wanted to take a look at the presentation deck of the last conference, uh, the Q421 call. And this is the 2023 endurance. Okay. one call and this is the 2023 endurance okay let's just take a look at this larry and i were talking about maybe a lithium iron battery lfp right here we have um 109 kilowatt lithium ion battery liquid cooling okay so that is what's in the report now there has been some mention of a 107 kilowatt hour battery um and uh, again larry and i were were speculating that um it might be a iron battery but this is in the presentation deck. Um, this is the charging. Um, front storage, again, 9.6 cubic feet. This is half of what the previous frunk was. Um, we've got here, this is new, rear bed camera is new, um, tie down hooks and tailgate locks, I am not sure what that is, um, and a full size spare tire, which was always the case. Um, I'm not sure where the tailgate lock is, but now we have here, we have, um, let's switch to draw here. We have 8,000 pounds towing and 1,200 pounds payload. Now let's just keep those numbers in mind. And let me see if I can switch to the previous specifications here. Okay, now this is uh, digging up. Uh, I have a plethora of formal, uh, for, former uh, videos on uh, Lordstown Motors and the Endurance. And I just want to, I've combed through a few of those and I've looked at uh, some differences. Let's just go through these real quick to see how different the 2023 endurance is. Uh, the gross vehicle uh, weight is 6,000 pounds, not final. Now, back in 2021, the towing receiver was an option. I believe that is standard now. Um, can be lifted, 15-inch ground clearance, onboard battery charging. Okay, uh, let's just move forward here. The big thing here is the weight and the towing receiver was an option. Now appears to be standard. Uh, now, the payload was 2,000 pounds, so you can see the difference between the payload. Okay, that has changed. Uh, the towing was 7,500 pounds. That also has changed. Uh, the front has halved, okay? And the battery has narrowed down to the present configuration. It was going to be up to 117 kilowatts. Um, we had a 250-mile range. Now the range is 200 miles. Um 5,300 pounds was the weight of the truck. Um, 
I don't know where that stands now. And I have a 5.5 .5 second 0 to 60 uh, time on here. So let's just, we're going to have to put together some sort of chart here and see how this all works out. Okay, I was just looking at the Lordstown Motors website here for some new specs on the Lordstown Endurance. And I just took a closer look at some of the, now I believe these are some new additional features to the Lordstown Endurance. This right here, oh, sorry, is the back of the middle console. And we have heating and cooling vents. And it looks like a power outlet here. And that would be like a, a 110 outlet, I believe. And these look like USB ports covered. And this right here, I can't make it out what that says. Now, <clears throat> let's just go to the, uh, let me just erase some of this here. This is, so I, 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 I do believe this is new right here. This was not mentioned before. These are new features added. This is facing the rear seat in the Endurance. Now this, you know, I, I don't know what that is. So we've got a light here. We've got this. I have no idea what this is. They mentioned a locking feature. What, what in the world is this? Does this have a cable in it with a cable lock? I don't know. We've got a light here. Where is that light from? I'm I'm kind of feeling this is in the truck bed, but I could be wrong. This could be in the interior. What in the world is it? I do not know. Now, if you take a closer look at the endurance steering wheel here, we've got a lot of control features on the steering wheel that I do not believe were shown before and these are new features so we've got this and I believe that's 110 and then USB and USB-C don't know what that is have no idea what this is now this is a light I don't know. I, I'm assuming. I'm, I'm thinking maybe this is a coiled up bed, a locking cable for the bed. I don't know. And certainly these control buttons, and there are numerous buttons here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like six on each side. They're probably, I don't know if they're duplicated or different. But these are all, all new features of uh, the Endurance as well. The comparative notes up, uh, the, kind of a chart I put together. This is kind of a rough video because there's a lot of information out there. Some of it's wrong, some of it's right. I'm trying to get a, a full picture here. Now, this is uh, from the slide deck on this side, and this is the change from 21 according basically to my videos. Okay, 109 lithium ion liquid cold battery. It's the same. I was talking, but you know, anyway, we were talking about an LFP battery, and according to the information, it's lithium ion. Although all the parameters and stuff look like it might be LFP, it appears to be lithium ion. So we got to go with what's coming out of Lordstown, and that's what's coming out of Lordstown. 9.6 front is 50% smaller than the original. Rear bed camera is new. Tailgate locks, we don't know what this is, but that is new. Towing has increased by 500 pounds. Uh, payload is dropped by 800 pounds. And the range has gone down 50 miles. All of this would indicate the heavier, less 
energy dense uh LFP battery pack, iron battery pack, but it's it's not stated as such. It's lithium ion, liquid cooled lithium ion. Okay, and that's liquid cooled, not submerged. Now, the uh, on MG, which there's going to be a clip on if it hasn't been shown already, they have the price for the fleet model at sixty three oh seventy five. That is a $10,575 increase over the original price. Um, these are per my 2021 videos and the research I had done in the past. I advise everybody to look. I have some spec videos on this truck. There's a lot of stuff about this truck. People are overlooking the capabilities and stuff. And, and if you take a look at my videos and go over uh, some of the spec videos on this truck, you'll see what I'm talking about. Gross vehicle weight I have at 6,000 pounds. I, I don't know. The towing packion, uh, towing packion was an option before. Is it now standard on the fleet model? I, I think it is. Uh, payload was 2,000 pounds. It's, uh, up, uh, it's increased 800 pounds. Uh, the towing was, uh, 75, well, it was, uh, it's 800 pounds more in the past than it is now. So the payload is now 1,200 pounds. Uh, the towing was 7,500 pounds. It's it's 500 dollars. It's 500 pounds less now in 21 than it is now. So it's increased 500 pounds, uh, decreased 800 pounds here. So you got a 300 pound difference there somewhere. I don't know. Is that the tow package? And the range has uh, decreased 50 miles. And I had the vehicle weight at 5,300 pounds. So this is all a bit confusing here. I'm sorry about that. But the point is, here's what you want to know. Uh, same plus or minus battery pack, front smaller, camera, tailgate locks, new, towing's up 500, payload's down 800, range is down 50. We're guessing it was because of a iron battery, but it says liquid cooled lithium ion. So now, you got to watch this video. Because there is, I believe there is a consumer options package coming, and this is a killer. All right, this, you know, Lordstown is get, keeping this all under wraps. If the information is correct, you know, you never know what you got. Watch the video. Okay, we're going to continue on here. Momentum groups, and this is the first. Uh, Thing I could find on the pre order of the Endurance. Uh, pre order Lordstown Endurance electric pickup truck for fleets, right there. The 2023 Lordstown Motors Endurance, blah, 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 blah. So we got the 2023. Explore the specs, okay. Uh, magnetic cost of own ownership. Fewest music, moving parts, uh, lowest maintenance costs, less fuel spend, safety, design to work, four-wheel drive, unprecedented traction to get out of all types of terrain, sticky, slippery, muddy, works-like conditions. Uh, revving 600 horsepower and up to 7,500 pounds towing, so that seems to be a little out of date. Uh, first all electric in wheel motor system, correct. Integrated software, uh, monitors each wheel, blah blah blah. Okay, charges in 30 to 90 minutes on a fast charger. Okay, and they've got 250 miles of run. Uh, per charge ev range and that's epa cycle so that was 250 i don't know how old this is now um again they have the 2023 here so this is obviously somewhat out of date 
Um, need financing. Now, here are the endurance specs, and down here, specs are subject to change. And we have an allocation of the 23 Lawrence pick down pickup truck. Okay, they have an allocation. Okay, let's just see what they have here. 63K is 63. I think it's 63.5 now. Um, all these traffic alerts, software, over-the-air software updates, fault monitoring, EV range, again, 200 miles. Okay. And again, you've got the level three charging at uh, 0.5 to 1.5 uh, hours. Uh, level two is 10 hours. Okay. Um, power tools, seating capacity. Max towing is 8,000, so they got that right. Uh, 20 inch wheels, 550 horsepower, electric, 80 miles an hour grade. And you get, uh, three, three years and eight years battery. So I thought this was interesting. This is now we have an allocation. Okay. So whatever that means, this is. Uh, kind of mixed. Um, let's just see the contact. I believe this is local to Lordstown. Uh, yes, Westlake, Ohio. Okay, which is like a suburb of Cleveland. So, uh, MG, uh, they have a allocation. So I thought this was interesting. Again, uh, some mixed messages on the uh, endurance specs. Okay, so since uh, Lordstown is such a black box, this is from carbuzz.com, 2023 Endurance. Um, 60,375, no, see, trunk volume, fuel economy to be determined, uh, 600 horsepower, and I'll show you what's interesting here, we got, uh, rack and pinion steering, which I am a massive fan of, I believe these aluminum wheels, are new but we don't know if this is accurate 20 inch wheels 250 range that's not right battery kilowatt i think is right uh 10 hours charge at 220 1.5 at 440 um curb weight is 6300 pounds which is about right towing capacity is right uh, standard color is electric white. Standard interior, black cloth seat trim, blah, blah, blah. So we got uh, Bluetooth connection is standard. Bluetooth, we got MP3 player. We got power mirrors. We got AC. We got Cruise control, we got uh, bucket seats, cloth seats, we know that. Keyless entry. Uh, keyless start. Okay, electric vehicle. Pretty pretty well given. The comfort package is at $705. Don't know what that is. Carpeted floor mat, carpeted floor covering. So it's probably coming with vinyl standard. I don't. We don't know how accurate this is. Now this is very interesting. This is the convenience package, and these were options that. Now uh, this is four hundred ninety-five dollars, that weren't mentioned anywhere else that I found. Rear bed camera. Okay. Heated rear cab window defroster. Okay. All right. 
puddle lights, uh, auxiliary output, uh, auxiliary outlet in front trunk, uh, rear bed, auxiliary lights, remote cab preconditioning key fob activation. Activation. So this is. Uh, these are some new items that weren't mentioned before that seem to have been added to the truck. Camera, heated rear window, puddle lights, uh, the front outlet in the front, rear bed light, uh, and remote uh, cab preconditioning key fob. Carpeted floor mats and floor covering. So the, the, the two of these together look like about a $1,200 or a $1,300 option. And this would give you a pretty good consumer version of this truck. Huh. Shocking. Okay. So, so we had 1200 or so to the uh, price of uh, 63 So you would be at uh, 61.5 and 61.5. Let's see. 61,500 minus 7,500 equals 54 grand for a four wheel drive, 600 horsepower outfitted. This would be a great consumer truck. This is a great price compared to what's going on at. Um, at Ford, now we got a 200 mile range, I, which is, is you know, 200 miles is probably enough for everybody. I think everybody's going nuts over the range thing. But anyway, um, it says range to be determined. So I, I don't know. I believe we're going to have to stick with what Lordstown has told us. But you could get a 200 mile range pickup truck pretty much fully outfitted. Really nice four wheel drive can be lifted fifty four thousand Wow, that is like super competitive with uh Ford that's a deal compared to the Ford. Wow, okay, interesting all right, and this again is from carbuzz.com. and I think there was some other information here as well in carbuzz. Let's see if there's anything else here. Um, same, 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 same. The aluminum wheels, 20-inch aluminum wheels. You know, this is a really nice truck for a 54K. And we got a 250-mile range, which is not right. And a 10-hour ch charge at, um, at 220. So what would that be if... A 20 hour charge, you know, for five hours, uh, you know, you could get a pretty good charge on this, depending on uh, what you're doing at home with a 110 outlet. That's what I'm talking about. It's a pretty small battery. Um, all right, you know, rack and pinion steering. I am a fan, I am such a fan. Now, see, when you have just as an aside, when you have torque vectoring on the wheels, technically you don't need power steering because the wheels are going to are going to torque vector when you're parking and so forth. So you can have rack and pinion steering. Man, what a hot rod this truck is! Uh, low, light, fast torque vectoring. Stability control, traction control, and rack and pinion steering. Oh, my God. That's so fantastic. Wow. All right. And 54 grand out the door for a pretty much fully fitted out consumer truck. Wow. Okay, and uh, here is, uh, again, Endurance 2023. Okay, so this is our new Endurance. I do like these new wheels. I think they look fantastic. Um, the truck looks the same to me. I don't know, somehow shorter maybe? I don't know. 
but um, this is a great looking vehicle this is the 2023 and again I really like these wheels all right this is MXUX thanks a lot for watching